Hi guys, welcome to my video. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a video, a video on um, a battery upgrade for the Eshin EO 13 Plus. Now there's my um, there's my one I'm working on. That's my tri-blade version, which I did a couple of videos on. Um, works great, but uh, because of the pitch angle is more or less like that. Um, the uh, the camera was useless on it because all I'm getting is ground so at the moment I've disconnected the camera as you can see and I'm working on a way to um, increase the the video uh, angle the camera angle um, so I can get sort of uh, about 90 degrees out of it something like that um, so I'm currently working on an idea to, to sort that out uh, the only problem I've got at the moment is holding the camera in because of these standoffs you've got in here you can't mount the camera on the original um, bit of plastic that you get with it because the standoffs get in the way of the camera it kind of sits in between them um, but I'm, I'm going to do an update on that um, and let you guys know how I get on um, this this works brilliant it, it's it's uh, it's miles better than the four bladed version. It's quicker, better throttle response, and um, it, it handles nice, even at slow rates, it, it handles well as well. So, you know, it's still zipping and out of the trees nice and slowly. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that one uh, just needs the camera sorting out because it's pretty useless um, when it comes to FPV. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know about that one. Now, <laughs> as you can see, I bought a second one. And this time I kept mine standard. Uh, apart from the blades, as you know, the, the blades are, that you get with it are more or less useless. So I got rid of them and put these on now. Uh, these are actually... I did, a, I did a video on this already, but these are actually King Kong um, blades. You get, uh, you get uh, 20 in all. Uh, 10 for each side and um, you get various colours and all that um, and while we're on the subject of King Kong I've got these uh, batteries that I originally I, I got for the Maker Fire um, Armour 65 Lite but um, they do work but I've got, I've got to mount them with um, a, a battery strap because they're too large however these work perfect in these. Now these are 550 milliamp. They are high volt, but you can also charge these on, um, you know, uh, 4.20. Uh, I don't know if it's going to run on 4.35. I'm, I'm worried it's going to blow something in the uh, in the circuit board. I, I know it's still 7, uh, 3.7 volt, but I'm not sure whether the added voltage is going to harm it I mean it's only 15 more you know but um or rather 0.15 more but I don't know if that's enough to harm it but anyway even on even on um 420 it should still it should still be okay now these cost 17 pounds you get a packet of four with them as I said they're five they're 550 but the C rating is uh 50 to 100 so it should last i say with the camera so proper fpv you should get about seven minutes out of these now there is one little thing you're going to have to do um you're going to have to make something and that is uh, a connector you're going to have to make a like a conversion connector now i've got one here which does work but it's a bit long and uh, I've originally made this as a battery charger because I, I wanted to um, charge these type of batteries in in a proper hobby grade charger. So um, that's what this is originally why this is originally so long because um, this goes into the you know obviously into here and that's a, a, like a, a low C connector and that goes into my charger. However, 
because this uses the um, male version, is it male? No, sorry, female version, um, it will also work on this. Now, believe it or not, this 550 milliamp an hour battery is actually lighter than the 300 milliamp an hour battery. Um, this this one here weighs 12.7 on average, and this weighs 13.7. So this is a gram heavier, even though it's a smaller battery. It's only 25C, and um, obviously it's a 300 milliamp. Um, this one is is a little bit smaller if you look at it like that but it's um it's a lot beefier you know power wise um yeah so this this fits in there nice and easy like that it it does move about a bit but no more no more than the standard one and then you 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 put obviously this connector in there like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, I don't know. Actually, I might shorten this, or I might, I might um, wrap it round like this, and hold it with an elastic band, and then that this end here will will go in the standard low C connector. And uh, well, let's let's fire it up, and you'll be able to see. There you go. See see the lights blink in there. So that that's all ready to go. I just need to make that short or, or um, find a way of strapping it down. But that will that will fly like that, and that will give me obviously a lot a lot longer FPV time. Um, if you want to, you can actually um, put a bit of sellotape round here and just sort of thicken it up a little bit, just so it sits in there a little bit better. So there is that option as well, and it'll also protect the battery as well from from uh, scratches and that. Uh, so yeah, that's my take on the um, the battery the battery mod for the. Uh, I mean, I had these lying about anyway, so I just thought I'd try these out. I actually thought these were a lot thicker and they weren't going to work, but they're they're actually slimmer and lighter by one gram. So um, being fifty milliamp an hour more with a better charge rate or discharge rate it should work out pretty good um, yeah so just make one of these up or obviously a lot shorter than that and um, you're good to go you know I mean I don't know how much this weighs but it wouldn't make any difference because you're saving on the battery weight anyway so there you have it just a short video on a battery conversion that will give that a little bit more time this is brilliant by the way I love this I've, fl I've flown this today and it's really good you know so um, if you, if, you uh, if you're thinking about get one get one because uh, they're ma masses of fun masses of fun the, on the only um, well like I said like in my previous videos you want to change the props for a start that's that's a that's a must um, because they are at the stand ones are hopeless. Um, the only other niggle I've got is the controller. Um, you've got to be careful because if you're flying and you accidentally press the the uh, shoulder button, you'll you'll change channel on your um, goggles, and you'll be flying blind. I did. I, I've I've actually done that a couple of times, and uh, I quickly switch through all the channels to get the. Um, to get the FPV back um, but I, I managed to land it so I, I was able to find it pretty quickly but yeah you want to watch that just um, keep your fingers away from the, the channel um, and try and try and uh, hover your fingers over the the, uh, the mode button and the uh, turtle turtle uh, mode button as well because that that's your uh, motor stop and start as well but try not to bump the other two buttons underneath because you will lose ch you will lose channel and be flying blind and then probably lose your drone so um, yeah try and avoid that but yeah there you go that's that's my battery 
conversion um, LDA RC which is also King Kong uh, batteries you know four for 17 pounds get get a bit more air time out of it brilliant can't go wrong out does these batteries anyway right well there you go cheers for watching guys and i'll catch you in my next one bye